Okay, nice and easy, doing a little boxer shuffle, getting the body ready, side to side. We're jumping to another Marshall Fusion Fitness Kickbox workout. So, I want you to relax everything, get that body limber, agile, soft, adaptable as we continue to breathe in deep and exhale all the way. We're gonna do that two more times. Inhale and exhale. Nice and soft. One more time. Inhale and exhale. Right there in place, start bringing the hands up. Elbows in, the heels are up, the knees is slightly bend. Everything is soft, everything is agile, adaptable, side to side. And right from there, we're gonna choose one lead foot into that fighting stance, just moving the body forward and back, forward and back, keeping the hands up, continuing with that breath. Just warming up, getting the system ready for kickboxing techniques. Right from there, let's get back into the center, side to side. Relax the shoulders, relax the neck. And then let's try the other lead forward with the hands up and the elbows in. Nice and soft, nice and soft. And one more time, back to the middle, relax the arms down, shake them out. And right from there, we're gonna bring it all the way down and we're just gonna crisscross those arms. And just relax. You can keep the bounce going. It's just to limber up and start lubricating the shoulders. Keeping that breath going. And then from there, let's start doing circles back and open, open, open. Nice and soft, nice and soft. Okay, we're gonna do the same with the shoulders forward. Keeping that jog, no? And then from there, everything down, open in place, relax down for five, four, three, two, and one. And open your position. Let's go into a deep stretch for those hips. Use the forearms to push the knees all the way all the way to the outside, keeping the back straight, holding for four, three, two, and one. We're gonna hold that position, just bring the body straight, just for a moment, start making the legs work a little bit more. Four, three, two, and one. Push yourself all the way up, squeeze, and just relax again, just open and close. <sighs> Increasing that breath. Relaxing the shoulders, relaxing the arms. We're going for a full workout today, upper body, lower body. So we wanna get the system ready, system going. Okay, back to that boxer shuffle, keep the hands up. Then from there, start bringing the heels up in the back. You can interlace the arms. Down and up, down and up, down and up. Bring it down again. Now, little slight twist to the side. Limber up the lower back and the hip. Use your elbows, your arms to go in the opposite direction. For four, three, two, and one. And right from there, back to that. Fighting a stance with your hands up. As part of the warm-up, we're gonna continue just with a basic combination, which is your jab and cross. We're going for 10 of those. And one, exhale, two, hands up, three, four, five, elbows in, six, seven, eight, nine and ten nice and limber back to the center relax the arms down just part of the warm-up starting to include some basic techniques okay right from there let's take the other lead forward hands are up make sure you rotate the hip on that cross punch jab cross ten times hands up and one 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Hold it in the center, little circles going forward, imitating the jump rope. I'll turn your heels. Four, four, three, two, and one. Bring it all the way down. Let's get back into that center stretch again. Bend your knees, push back, body straight, and stretch a little further. Now you can use the support of your hands. Choose one leg and stretch it out. Try to keep your body straight as you do the stretch. Limbering up, stretching the knees, stretching the hamstrings. Then from there, just walk it into the other side, nice and slow. For now, keep the toes pointing down. Body straight. Good, let's bring it back to the center and push one more. Okay, this time we're gonna raise the toes and use the supporting hand behind so I can switch the alignment for the stretch. My opposite arm is just gonna push the knee further back. I want to remain as straight as I can for four, three, two, and one. I'm gonna inhale, rotate into a lunge and stretch now <clears throat> the hip flexor keeping the heel up on the back, legs straight, and just gently pushing that down. Right from there, I'm gonna inhale. Opposite hand is gonna go all the way up so I can twist my body, I can open my shoulders, look into the ceiling, then bring it all the way down, back to the middle, push once more, open up, then the same thing going into the other side, raising the toes, using the supporting hand on the back, Looking for that alignment, using the opposite hand to push the knee further back. Body straight for four, three, two, and one. Then with the inhale, we're gonna rotate into the lunge and stretching that hip flexor, keeping the legs straight, heel up. Right from there, opposite hand is gonna go all the way up and open extend, twist, stretch, and bring it all the way down. Right from there, once more, one to the middle, push. Again, body straight, push all the way up, Ooh, squeeze, and then open and close. Relax the body. Let's start adding the hands, saying one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Bring it all the way down. All right, all right. That's a short and sweet warm up, but then we can start getting to it. So give me that fighting stance, hands are up. Next basic combination is going to be the jab, cross, and jab. We're going for 10 of those. Exhale through the mouth as you punch. And one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, hands up, eight, nine, and ten. Hold it in the middle, little jump rope. Same thing on the other side, bringing your fighting stance, hands are up, elbows are in, going for the jab, cross and the jab, ten times, and one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. 
Back to that jump rope. Good job. Okay, let's start adding lower body into it. And we're gonna do it just with a basic knee strike or knee raise going towards the front, but altering from one side to the other. So you're gonna choose your stance, your hands are gonna be relaxed up in the front, and as soon as you throw that knee from the back and lands, you're gonna step back with the other one so you can repeat the process from side to side. Going for 30, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and thirty. Yes, bring it to neutral stance. Nice and easy, we're going for the first 10 squats. The hands go up as you go down, body straight, exhale on the way down. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Last one, hold, 10. Extend your arms for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Push it all the way up, squeeze, and back to that jump rope. Oof. Good job, good job. So we continue to limber, we continue to limber, and before throwing some kicks, I just wanna do one set of side leg extension just to help out the, the angle of the foot that stays on the ground as we start limbering up the leg that eventually is gonna turn into a kick. So you wanna bring yourself into that neutral stance, and you're gonna choose one side to go to by bringing the heel in an angle as we lean away, lift without bending the knee, switching into the other side, a step, step, inhale, exhale with the left, so we can do 30 of those going from side to side. Side leg extension, hands up, in one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, soft, soft, huh? It's a stretch. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. Last ten. And one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and thirty. Well done. Back to the center into that little jump rope. So all of these exercises and all of these routines really doesn't matter if I go for half an hour, 45 minutes, one hour. I consider that entire workout my warm-up. 
then after that workout, then I can work on technique with a partner, I can work on the bag, I can do some sparring, I can work with a partner with the pads, you know, but this, this little workout that I'm sharing with you today, the purpose is just to get you going, get you sweating, get you moving, learning to magnify your energy and to coordinate your breathing with your body movement. So let's take it back into that fighting stance. Another basic combination is going to be jab, jab, cross, jab, hands up, going for 10, in, one, two, three, hands up, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. You're going to stay on that lead side, and right from here, we're going to turn the body a little bit more sideways, and as we step in, in the same way that we were doing for the side stretch, that is going to be the base for us to throw that round kick with the lead leg. So we're going for round kick, or Japanese mawashigeri with the lead side 10 times. Hands up, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good job, back to the center. Keep the jump rope going as a transition so we can repeat those two combinations on the other side. So switch your fighting stance, your hands are up. So first, 10 times we're going for the jab, jab, cross, jab, cover up. And keep your knees bent, body ready. And one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So you keep the same fighting stance, you open the body a little bit more sideways, you prepare that supporting leg, lean away from it, extend your front for the lead mawa shigeri or round kick for 10. Hands are up. You can relax and open your hands, but keep them up. One, two, three, point your toes forward, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Nicely done, back to the center, shuffle side to side. So definitely, you can even, if you're doing this with me, you can feel too as well how our energy is now increasing, increasing because of the breathing. So breathing is where your power comes from. So work on the coordination of your breath with your movement and make your breathing deeper so you can gather more energy and have the proper amount of intention to be delivered on your technique. So let's go back into the other side. We got that fighting stance. Now we want to just work a little bit movement defense, but at the same time it's going to involve great leg work by doing the weaves. So from this lead foot, we're going to move the body into a circular manner underneath, come back to the center and return boom on the same way all right so make sure you don't look down make sure you don't do the movement with the back but use your legs and your hips to get low and weaving one two three four 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Hold it in the center with that jump rope. And shake it out, move it around. Okay, we're gonna do the same weave on the other side. Everything that you do, you wanna do it on both sides equally to develop that sense of balance and strength in your body, all right? So a couple of things. Do not look down and make sure the back heel is up all the time. So that is gonna allow your hip to naturally rotate from side to side, down and up. So fighting stance, first thing will be to move away from the punch without looking down, rotating in a circular manner underneath, coming back to center line, then away from the punch, underneath, and then coming back into center line. I'm going for 10. Hey, right. one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes, back to that jump rope. Good job, good job. Okay, so we had that knee transition exercise as before, right? So from here, switching, get into it with me again with the hands in the front. So now the only thing to add to this is gonna be the full extension for your front kick. So you wanna make sure that you start bringing those toes back and as you extend the leg, you wanna lean away from it with the exhale, keeping the hands in the front. So let's go for 30 front kicks side to side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. Hey, back to that center, jump rope, or just loosen up, but keep moving though, keep moving. Knees soft, knees bent, heels up, body side to side. So the whole point of this workout is once we set ourselves in movement, we do not stop moving. We can change the intensity, but always that breath is nice and deep going and allowing that energy to recycle itself to power you through. So give me a little speed back right there with the back face going forward, rotation for the elbows for four, three, two, and one, relax it all the way down. Now we're going for the second set of squats. This time it's gonna be 15 of them. So set your position. Hands go up when you go down. Exhale on your way down, body straight, squat it. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it up, and open and close, open and close. Relax the body. Good job, good job, good job. 
Now give me that fighting stance back. We're gonna keep moving with these combinations. So right from here, with the lead side, we're only gonna work on the jab. Let it loose, let it forward, it's spontaneous. Every time you extend with the palm down, exhale through the mouth. Nice and easy, switch it back to the middle. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Switch your lead, keep your hands up. So the point of this is for you just to really relax your body as you naturally extend forward because the body slightly goes into a side position without dropping your back hand and is squeezing the air at the same time that you're making contact with the target. Back to the middle, nicely done, nicely done. Okay, what about making a combination, upper body, lower body, and transitioning from side to side? So we got the lift foot ready to go, and from here we're going with a jab, cross, and a jab, followed by a front kick that is gonna switch my stance into the other side for me to repeat the routine again. Jab, cross, jab, front kick, and switch. So it's a very simple, straightforward combination. Just make sure your hands are up, you lean away when you kick, you exhale when you punch and kick. 30 from side to side. Hands up. Ready? One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Come on. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. Pushing through. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and thirty. Aye, and relax it down. Well done, well done. Nice little compact Marshall Fusion fitness kickbox workout. When we go this fast, and especially just sharing this with most of you that I never met and I never got to interact physically. So it's the possibility of sharing technique during the workout is very limited, all right? So look at this experience only as a way to follow through the moves. And if you happen to want to develop your knowledge and technique, go into other videos of the channel and start looking for details for each of the techniques and exercises that we are using on the workout. So, right from here, fighting stance, one more combination. This time, we have jab, cross, uppercut, uppercut, stepping in for the lead mawashigeri or round kick and stepping back. This is one of my absolute favorite combinations. Jab cross, uppercut, uppercut, lead round house, going for 10. So hands up, ready with me, we're almost done. Come on, in, one, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good job, back to the middle, jump rope, jump rope. Same combination into the other side, just breathe it out, keep it moving. You're doing great, we're going into the other side, let's break it down, get into your fighting stance, hands are up, elbows in, knees are bent. We have jab, cross, uppercut, uppercut, moving in, lead roundhouse, moving away, hands up, and we're ready to go for 10 reps. Ready, uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, Nueve, diez, yes, and back to the middle. Whoa, that was great. I'm definitely feeling it. That breath is going. Take a moment to stabilize. Don't stop. We got one more set, 20 squats to put it all together. You're almost there, you're almost there. Let's wrap it up nice and strong so get into your position ready for those last 20 squats together with me back straight exhale on the way down uno dos tres cuatro cinco seis siete ocho nueve last ten ten nine Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Push it through and just relax. Good job, great job. That's a nice, solid little cardio routine right there. Keep that breath going. Deeper. Keep your body moving though, don't stop all of a sudden. Just try to start bringing that heart rate slowly down. You can hear by my breath. This is the kind of stuff that activates my energy. I do this workout maybe like five times a week on my own just to get my system going like I said before then I'm ready to practice some technique some waza some aikido or some kickboxing sparring or just working on the bag or the pads with a partner other different types of mobility drill exercises on the ground it's important that as a martial artist you keep yourself open flexible, strong, adaptable, and you're always ready to learn. You're always ready to try something that might be different of what you're used to or something that you've never seen before. Maybe that's the case. But I find that even if you are not good at it, the fact that you are trying something, it means that you are able to put your ego to a side, become like an empty vessel, and just learn, absorb. This is what the old Zen masters used to say, that the beginner's mind is the way for the martial arts training. Keep that beginner's mind always. Bring it all the way down. Let's uh, find some ground. Get into a solid stance, a little wider than the hips. Knees are slightly bent, body is straight. We're gonna breathe in deeper together now. Inhale, hands up. Exhale, push. Breathe in through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Again. 
and out two more times up and out one more up and out open your position just like we did at the very beginning for the warm-up just to have a little more flexibility on those hips so just push again once more let's stretch one leg should be noticeable the difference on your joints after being fully warm and doing the workout the stretching now feels right not like at the beginning eh? switch it to the other side flexibility is key flexibility is perhaps the only quality that if we train it in a disciplined manner we can keep to towards an old age eh? everything else is kind of meant to start fading away your cardio your muscle strength all of those things will will start diminishing as we get older but flexibility if we maintain it and we work on it it can be kept <sighs> once more right there okay and then just to finish let's do one deep deep stretch down so what i want you to do is i want you to extend both of your legs bring your hands right to the center push slightly your heels to the outside your legs are straight and then from there you just start relaxing your head down holding that stretch deep as you continue to breathe deeper and letting go one more and out slowly bring your feet closer together bend your knees bring the hands into your knees push your body now slowly up then you can bring your feet together Boom. this is our traditional salute palms together in front of you nice and strong inhale and with the exhale we just salute each other 